Push the wrong button. Hey, it's me, Dylan Dog. This is Brett. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's Friday. Friday. We're at Brett's dad's house. We are. And we're just planning Brett's epic journey to cross the entire width, I guess you could say, of Australia. Australia. Yeah, but he's actually really doing it and he's running from Melbourne to Perth <laughs> with his feet. I am with my feet, my two feet. 35 days, 100 clicks a day, you little ripper. We're serious. I'm he's not doing joking. It. This, this, this is it's actually happening. Yeah. We're, we're, we're joking about it um, because we're humorous people. But it's <laughs> In actually all seriousness. <laughs> December 10. Like, it's the showdown. It's like, um, the, can you smell what The Rock is cooking? You can't because this is film. It's um, like Russia to Paris. I mean, like Moscow to Paris. Not close. Different countries, but same sort of concept. Don't need a passport. <laughs> yeah. A lot of shoes, though. Um, so, how can people find out about what's going on with your life? Well, I've got a website, brethillier.com. Probably the best place is at Facebook, which is at Brett's Every Step. You know, get it. I'm Brett, Every Step, Melbourne to Perth. So. Dill Dog's my main man, and so if you love Dill, you'll probably love me. So, uh, <laughs> get, get behind me as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. Or get in front of him. Get in front. Yeah, the view's um, better from the front. Yeah. Although, it's pretty good from behind as well. <laughs> yeah, so that's... <laughs> So it's Friday night and that's what we've been doing. We've been planning his journey. I've been making a video. That's because that's what I do, I guess you could say. Got our support team over here. Say so, g'day, YouTube, everyone. <laughs> but anyway, check out Brett's stuff. We're gonna make it happen. He's running all over around the place. He loves to run. Um, tomorrow, we're meeting up with Joel and Tom Piana from Sweden and um, Dan Foreman and we're going to talk about some mountain boarding stuff. Maybe do some mountain boarding, it's going to be horrible weather. I've got a mountain board too, P.S. Right, actually mountain boards, which Woo! is fantastic news. Yeah, after Perth, I'll get back out there with everyone. He's actually mountain boarding back the other way. <laughs> this is a genuine lie. It's down a hill, 1% yeah. grade, I'll roll. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you tomorrow and um, yeah, watch this magic. Alright, well it's uh, Saturday afternoon, you could say. I'm actually on the way down to Mornington, Peninsula to go meet up with Jolie. Hey! Now the come on! Hey, how are you, dude? Good! Good! Hi, little buddy. How you going, Dylan? Hello, everybody. It's me. How's it going? Come through, come oh, through. Yeah, come through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got him! Oh, no I idea. just got that on camera, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> now we've been having a very good conversation about progressing the sport of mountain boarding here in Australia, potentially making a new mountain board park somewhere, working with, trying to work with the, the council and trying to get something public built. Jay's made a fantastic front cover to my diary here. It's not quite finished yet. It's a work in progress. If there's anyone out there on YouTube who um, could come up with a fantastic render of a mountain board park or a mountain bike park that would really help us at this stage proposing to councils to get some sort of public facility built. What else do we need? We need people who are connected in in potentially the council, the yeah. government that could help us with wording of documents. And also the name of the actual park. Yeah, how do you feel about a mountain board park, a mountain bike park and a BMX park? What would you call that facility that caters for all three sports? Would you call it a gravity park, or would you call it a mountain park? Action you can't, park. Action park was another one. Yeah. I don't know, it's tricky, what do you like? Send me a comment, write it down. We'll keep you updated. We're here at the uh, MBS Australia headquarters, behind the scenes of R&D Lee. I just got hooked up with the brand new MBS F5 Hill Straps, VIP. You heard it here first, mountain boarding world. I ain't made it. They got Iron Maiden font if you look closely. I don't even know if I'm meant to be telling you this right now. I don't think you are. <laughs> Worldwide exclusive right here on Del Moore and Vlog. You see it here first. You see it here first every time. We're gonna swap these old prototypes. I'm gonna put the freshies on. So tell me about these bonies. Tell Vlog about. Are we vlogging right now? Yeah, dude. I'm like... on. You're on the vlog. Oh, what? Yeah. Yes, we've got our new bindings that are just about to be released in North America and Europe and pretty soon to Australia, but you got a little kind of sneak peek of them right here. But basically, um, is this yeah. a, 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 is this a tech talk? 
Is this a tech talk? It's like a little B like side. Tech talk right here. Yeah. yeah, we've gone with the dual density fun. <laughs> yeah. I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> but yeah, basically what you've been seeing before, which is totally indestructible. Um, yeah, it's got the injection molded core with seriously a dual density foam. And apart from that, no frills. Just Let's really talk about solid on um, how much stronger they are and, and the, the new plastic. Uh, inside, yeah, because basically much better that was in the previous hill straps. Yeah, I broke a lot of that. Oh, yeah, and I feel bad about that, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, I sincerely do. But, <laughs> but I'm proud to say that these are, I'll say it right now, first, uh, first here, indestructible. You won't break them, you know, just like the same challenge? thing. That's a challenge. <laughs> I'm putting it out there to Dylan and to you guys. Um, yeah, let me know if you can because uh, I don't think it's possible. But, um, yeah, so super duper strong and just loving the fact that it's got the ratchet on it. Um, I, mean, I think that's nice because you can get out via your heel straps or your bindings now, and that's pretty cool. Um, but still, cam lock adjuster on one side and a ratchet and on the other. A lot uh, wider too. Yeah, yeah. Have so it kind of distributes the uh, yeah distributes the pressure a little bit better and and a lot softer too. Yeah, really nice. And, but apart from that, kind of no frills. They'll get the job done and they won't break. And they're black. Black. And then metal AF. Yeah, just like the song is working right now. Yeah. Congratulations, John. Thanks. Very so nice. we'll bang her on Thank here. you. <coughs> Thanks for coming, Joe. And you just clip her on right here. You just put this guy here. Yeah. Click your guy here. Put this other so, guy in here. Alright, so I've just raided all the MBX product here at the uh, MBS. Office. Just got some yeah, so new wheels with the T3 treads on. I'm, I always ride the T1 treads, but I'm getting some T3 T3 action because we've been riding a lot of single trail downhill type stuff. So I just want a little bit more grip around the corner. So I'm going to try them, those bad boys out. And then, so I have two sets of wheels so I can use my T1s for street stuff and then my T3s for downhill stuff. And also got some nine inch tires to try out on some downhill stuff. I'm pretty pumped to see what these will be like. So yeah, got all my swag happening here. Tom and Joel over here. Tom just got a board for for his stay in Australia, I guess you could say. Yeah. Piece together some sweetness. What do we got in the box here? Got some old uh, Matrix. Yeah, classics. Uh, obviously the good old shoes. You got, you got some, There's some tea, tea. Oh, are they the vine ones? Yeah, yeah the vine. vines. Yeah. yeah, that's some new stuff right there. They call them the pineapple tread in Japan. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the pineapples. So, yeah, arigato, pineapple yeah. tire. <laughs> <laughs> Complete with the J Japanese accent and everything. Yeah. What else Nailed is in here? It. Got some fresh... Uh, yeah, got some F5 binds. Oh yeah, I got some new bindings. That's a that's, that's a, a Comp 95 uh, prototype. Right Is that there. Gen One? That's, that's actually no. This was this was one of my favorite decks actually. I only read this a little bit, but this was um slightly different epoxy we used on this one that we went with production, but really really snappy. Um, yeah, good deck. You're gonna love that. Get some. You're gonna get some footage for us. Oh yeah. Get some photos. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah.